the Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Brethren, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour, whom resist, steadfast in the faith. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us. Thanks be to God. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who hath made heaven and earth. We confess to God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed through our own grievous fault. Wherefore, we pray God to have mercy upon us. Almighty God, have mercy upon us. Forgive us all our sins and deliver us from all evil. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and bring us to life everlasting. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Psalm 55 Hear my prayer, O God, and hide not thyself from my petition. Take heed unto me, and hear me, how I mourn in my prayer, and am vexed. The enemy crieth so, and the ungodly cometh on so fast, for they are minded to do me some mischief, so maliciously are they set against me. My heart it is, is disquieted within me, and the fear of death is fallen upon me. Fearfulness and trembling are come upon me, and a horrible dread hath overwhelmed me. And I said, Oh, that I had wings like a dove, for then would I flee away and be at rest. No, then would I get me away far off and remain in the wilderness. I would make haste to escape because of the stormy wind and tempest. Destroy their tongues, O Lord, and divide them. For I have spied unrighteousness and strife in the city. Day and night they go about within the walls thereof. Mischief also and sorrow are in the midst of it. Wickedness is therein. Deceit and guile go not out of their streets. For it is not an open enemy that hath done me this dishonour. For then I could have borne it. Neither was it mine adversary that did magnify my, himself against me. For then, peradventure, I would have hid myself from him. But it was even thou, my companion, my guide and mine own familiar friend. We took sweet counsel together and walked in the house of God's friends. Let death come hastily upon them, and let them go down quick into hell. For wickedness is in their dwellings, and among them. As for me, I will call upon God, and the Lord shall save me. In the evening, and morning, and at noonday will I pray, and that instantly, and he shall hear my voice. It is he that hath delivered my soul in peace from the battle that was against me. For there were many with me. Yea, even God, that endureth for ever, shall hear me and bring them down. For they will not turn, nor fear God. He laid his hands upon such as be at peace with him. And he brake his covenant. The words of his mouth were softer than butter having war in his heart. 
His words were smoother than oil, and yet be they very swords. O oh, cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall nourish thee, and shall not suffer the righteous to fall for ever. And as for them, thou, O oh God, shalt bring them into the pit of destruction. The bloodthirsty and deceitful men shall not live out half their days. Nevertheless, my trust shall be in thee, O Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. A reading from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, verse 9. Thou, O Lord, art in the midst of us, and we are called by thy name. Leave us not, O Lord our God. Thanks be to God. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, thou God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of an eye. Hide me under the shadow of thy wings. Preserve us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Preserve us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Blessed art thou, Lord God of our fathers, to be praised and glorified above all forever. Let us bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Let us praise him and magnify him forever. Blessed art thou, O Lord, in the firmament of heaven, to be praised and glorified above all forever. The almighty and most merciful Lord, guard us and give us his blessing. Amen. Let us pray. Visit, we beseech thee, O Lord, this place, and drive from it all the snares of the enemy, that thy holy angels dwell herein to preserve us in peace. And may thy blessing be upon us evermore, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night for the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. We will lay us down in peace and take our rest, for it is thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. Abide with us, O Lord, for it is toward evening and the day is far spent. As the watchmen look for the morning, so do we look for thee, O Christ. 
the Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God, the almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost. Bless us and preserve us. Amen.